We're standing here at the banks of Little Mill Creek in northern Newcastle County, Delaware. Immediately before discharging to the Christina, it flows through the Peterson Wildlife Refuge. The Little Mill Creek has had a history of flooding problems, uh, mostly in the Ellesmere area as well as along uh, Miko Drive and Germay Drives uh, in the southern part of the watershed uh, that has resulted in, uh, in damage to property. Little Mill Creek also has a history of some contamination. Uh, we're here today to really talk about both of those issues, namely the flooding problem as well as the water quality problem. Uh, in the background you will see uh, excavation going on. Um, that is work being done by the Corps of Engineers along with uh, our, our, our project participants from the state and the county. Uh, they are excavating to deepen and widen Little Mill Creek. Uh, that will increase the hydraulic capacity, uh, therefore keeping the water uh, in bank uh, and reducing the magnitude, duration, and frequency of flooding uh, in this area. Uh, the second part of the issue we're, we're talking about today is water quality. Uh, we found through investigations uh, before the excavation was going on that we had uh, some pockets of contamination. One area in particular was Miko Ditch. Uh, there are high levels of oil in Miko Ditch. Uh, back in the late part of 2012, uh, the Delaware Site Investigation and Restoration Section did a creative uh, remediation of that area. Uh, the source has been removed, uh, but there was contamination that had been released from Miko Ditch into Little Mill Creek that was not easily uh, recovered. Um, and so the decision was made rather than to try to excavate that and disturb that material and potentially make it worse, that we would treat it in place. Uh, and the option that we chose was to use activated carbon. What we're doing is applying a carbon product uh, to that contaminated sediment. Uh, we're then putting geosynthetic fiber uh, over that and then uh, riprap. And what that will do is prevent the release of any contamination that is in those sediments in that area. That will not only uh, improve water quality in the lower Little Mill Creek area, but also prevent uh, the release and transport down into the Peterson Wildlife Refuge. So, um, this is not the first time that we've used activated carbon to treat sediments. We've done a similar project uh, down in Mirror Lake in Dover, a uh, much larger project, uh, but we hope to have the same type of positive results that we had Mirror Lake here. So we're hopeful. Uh, this is our second project where we've used activated carbon to treat contamination in sediments. Uh, we're looking forward to our next one.